All right, so you've been doing a lot of research about Kansas City. You're possibly thinking about relocating here for whatever reason it may be. Um, maybe just uh, more affordability, uh, but a lot of amenities still uh, kind of centralized in the United States. And you're looking at all the different suburbs, maybe your job's relocating here. Well, today I'm in my old neck of the woods, kind of in the area that I grew up in, Gladstone, Missouri, kind of tucked away inside the Northland. And I'm gonna take you on a full vlog tour of Gladstone, Missouri, and um, kind of explain what you can get if you're thinking about moving to Kansas City, and particularly Gladstone. And we're gonna do it right after this. Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, this channel is all about eating, living, sleeping, breathing, and having fun in Kansas City, all right? If you want more information like that, you gotta like, subscribe, ring that little bell. That way, anytime I'm dropping these knowledge bombs, you're gonna be notified. My name's Sean Van Horn. I'm a local real estate agent here in Kansas City. I love making these videos, but more importantly, I love helping people relocate to Kansas City. Uh, my information's below. You can call, text, email me anytime, day or night. I got your back when it comes to moving to Kansas City. So today, like I said, we're in Gladstone, Missouri. Uh, so geographically, Gladstone is kind of in the Northland. It's a part of the Northland of Kansas City. So Kansas City's kind of broken up into about five or six different counties. You've got Clay County, Platte County in the Northland. Uh, and then you have, um, you have, I'm trying to think where the sun's at. Oh, there's the sun. And then uh, you've got um, Jackson County, you've got Wyandotte County and Johnson County over on the Kansas side. So uh, Gladstone is in the um, Clay County side of the Northland. So when I say Northland, what I mean is there's a river that goes and kind of splits Kansas City, uh, the Missouri River. And so everything north of the Missouri River is basically the Northland inside of the KC Metro. And that's kind of how people, let, you know, locals kind of identify uh, the Northland. So right now I'm kind of in the square of, of Gladstone. Um, the community center is right behind me, which is a really nice community center. And then they have a pool, which is really nice. Uh, slides and diving boards and uh, just a lot of amenities. There's tennis courts. And then across the street here is the city hall. Um, so it's a really nice um, kind of a suburban part of Kansas City and uh, the area. So this is kind of the square. It's nice because they do a lot of these um, like music venues and little local bands and stuff kind of right here in the square. There's a lot of really cool local businesses. Uh, there's a daycare called Oak Hill Day School. It actually goes up to eighth grade. It's a private school, uh, one of the nicest um, schools, uh, private schools in the Northland. So as far as schools go, um, so schools in, in Gladstone, you're pretty much gonna be in the North Kansas City School District and you're either gonna go to Winnetonka High School or Oak Park High School, kind of depending on where you're at. So, uh, like I said, geographically, uh, you know, Gladstone kind of starts around 80th Street in the Northland, goes down to about Inglewood Road, and cuts over just uh, west of me. I'm like right off of 70th and North Oak. So, just west of North Oak has a road called Broadway. And then it pretty much goes all the way um, east uh to uh just past one highway kind of in that little area so it's kind of a square but then there's like a little sliver that goes down the north or i'm sorry the southwest corner so that's kind of how it looks geographically gladstone um but yeah it's a it's a really quiet nice neighborhood a nice area of kansas city what i like about gladstone is that you still have a lot of amenities you have a lot of shopping and um you know obviously a lot of things you can kind of get to and then you st and then the affordability is pretty nice too so like median home prices in, Can in kansas city 
match about the medium home prices that you find in Gladstone. So it's about that $350,000 mark, um, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, right behind me here is a really nice apartment complex. So if you are thinking about renting, that's a good option. Obviously, if you're thinking about renting, I can't help you too much with that, but I can definitely help you find a home here in Kansas City, especially here in Gladstone. And so, uh, especially if you're looking for specific stuff, so like the types of homes that we're looking at in Gladstone, you know, you've got a lot of these uh, 1980s homes, but then you have a lot of new construction too. So there's a lot of different neighborhoods, just kind of depending on what you want, what you're looking for, I can help kind of narrow that down specifically for your family, but... Uh, there's a there's a restaurant over here called Summit. It's really nice. It's one of the best um, or nicest restaurants. It's kind of a, a place, a staple for Northlanders to go to. And just up and down this uh, North Oak traffic way is a major road with tons of shops and local businesses and uh, lots and lots of um, places and things to do and, and, and things. You've got grocery stores close by. Um, and then just a lot of suburban type neighborhoods. So if you're looking for suburbs, quiet, uh, affordability, amenities, kind of the whole Shazam, this is your, this is your best bet. Well, one of your best bets. <laughs> um, but it's just a, definitely a, a community I really wanted to highlight today and show you and kind of get into some of the neighborhoods, show you what some of the houses look like and uh, what all has to offer. But uh, this is just one of the many areas of Gladstone. I'm going to show you a couple different parks. Uh, Oak Grove Park's another big park right by Oak Park High School. And um, and then I'm going to kind of show you kind of more of the southern part of Gladstone as well, kind of over by the Inglewood Road area too. So um, you'll see that houses kind of change in different areas and, and how they look kind of depending on what you're looking for. But um, yeah, stay tuned, y'all interrupting the video real quick just wanted to kind of show you real quick what's active in gladstone so you can kind of get a good idea so here's kind of all the active homes um in gladstone and you can kind of see what um what we're looking at so i do i do want to filter this down to single family homes just because i'm kind of that's kind of what i'm i'm talking about is more of the single family homes um so let's go back to the map so this is kind of a map of Gladstone. So like I said, Gladstone is kind of interesting. It, it has like this like square kind of area, but then it ha comes down into this little hook. So it kind of hooks down, comes up, goes across, and it's kind of this square in the Northland. So down here, there's actually some pretty expensive houses on the bottom part. And I'll kind of show you what they look like. So this is one on White Oaks Lane listed um i think it said four four and some change beautiful house uh but it kind of gives you a good idea of what you're looking at and it's 475 yeah so that's where that one lays and then you have the next house this one's up to 640 so another really nice classic home. These houses sit on big lots and they kind of have this look to them, the countertops and kind of what you're looking at here. Um, but you, I mean, this is like a 4,600 square foot house. So this is like the very top of the market in Gladstone is just kind of this bottom corner down here um, in this neighborhood. And so we're looking at uh, Claymont Estates is what we're talking about over there. And so, but then when you get up into um, the rest of Gladstone, you know it's one hundred and forty thousand, one seventy five. This one's for two ninety six. So kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at for two ninety six. So here you go. You still this one's got a three car garage, which is pretty nice. This is virtually a stage, so. Um, kind of dated, but I mean, for three hundred thousand dollars, it's really pretty nice property in the Northland in a pretty nice little neighborhood. And that's in Brook Tree, so that's kind of right in my old neck of the woods. And then uh, this one for 175, nothing fancy to look at there. This one's at right at 400, so this is Carriage Hills area. Um, so sometimes in this neighborhood you get three car garages, sometimes two car garages, but it looks like they did a lot of updates to that house as well. So that kind of gives you an idea on that. 
Um, and then there's a few more up north on the northern part of Gladstone. Um, here's one for 335. And that one is right in the North Haven neighborhood, kind of. And I kind of go through these neighborhoods when I'm when I'm doing my vlog here. I'll kind of show you, but kind of give you an idea, just so you have more of an idea. I wanted to really kind of touch on what's on the market and what you can expect when you're looking in Kansas City at these houses. Um, and there's a few more up top here. One at 299. So a lot of these 299s are going to be like, you know, a two-car garage, uh, 1,700 square feet. Um, might need some updates. You know, it's kind of those 70s homes, 60s homes, kind of the North Haven neighborhood area. This one's at 375. Um, I'll show you this real quick. A little bit bigger, 2,200 square feet. As you can see, a little bit bigger house. And that's right at three, what I say, 375. So that kind of gives you an idea um, when you go to the map and you look at the results. There's still, again, there's not a lot of inventory. I mean, we're looking at 12 houses um, all together in the Northland. So it's just like um, not much going on here. This is pretty much the whole uh, market on the market right now in Gladstone. So, but all right, we'll go uh, back to the video here. All right. So we're at Oak Grove uh, Park. It's kind of on the north side of Gladstone. It's connected right next to Oak Park High School. And um, it's nice because there's an amphitheater here as well. Uh, it's a really cool place. They actually host the Gladfest here, which is a big event for Gladstone every year. They have like live bands, vendors, uh, food trucks, and all kinds of stuff like that. And then in the Halloween time, they do a big like trick or treat event and and have vendors set up again giving out candy and things like that but it's got a really nice walking trail um, people love that um, and a really nice playground and even has like a little pond with um, a water fountain feature which is really nice so but yeah so this is oak park high school it's actually a rival of of my high school i went to winnetonka my wife went to oak park which is kind of funny because it's kind of a rival but Football teams practice, and I think this is actually their first day of practice. Um, I think this is, yeah, the first day. Uh, I think they go like half pads, and then there's some rules where they, on a certain date, they can go full pads, and then temperatures, depending on if they can go full pads. And I just remember all these things whenever I played. Um, but they just recently did this really nice update um, to pretty much all the North Kansas City schools. So uh, not too long ago, all the games, like the varsity games and, and all the games that you would play were all kind of um, in one stadium. North Kansas City would kind of host for the whole district. And then when Staley High School opened up in the Northland, that became kind of the host. But now um, they kind of bought this package and they got like a big screen and stands and now they can pretty much do um, kind of a whole, they have kind of a whole stadium of their own now, which is nice. The same thing goes for Winnetonka, kind of had the same setup. So now they can all host kind of the same, um, you know, they can all have their own their own home and play at home, which is kind of cool. So, but yeah, and that's kind of for a lot of the sports. Obviously, um, football is kind of a big deal. Uh, well, I guess in America, right? <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just kind of a nice park, like I said. Um, love coming here. We, we come here a lot for different things. Like I said, like the Glad Fest and, um, and just different events like that. It's pretty cool. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys, uh, the high school kind of sits back over the hill. Uh, it's a pretty nice high school. It's one of the, the top high schools in the Northland. Um, and where your family would be going if you decided to move around this area here. All right, so the first subdivision I wanted to highlight for you all today was uh, North Haven. Uh, so North Haven is kind of um, just just a little bit east of where we just were, kind of uh, right off of North Oak Traffic Way around that 67th Street in Gladstone. What I love about this neighborhood is uh, you get these amazing character homes from the 60s and 70s, um, and the price points are just really great. Like this home right here uh, is under contract recently for about 260. 
um, and it's a beautiful home. It's got the two car garage in the back. So when you're looking at the price points, like in Gladstone, what you'll kind of see real quickly is that um, around that $200,000 price is going to be like your starter homes. You get like the one car garage, maybe thousand square feet, a little bit more, uh, two, three bedroom, one bath, one and a half bath. And then when you bump up to like that 250 to $300,000 price point, now you can get into like the two car garages. Um, you get the bathroom off the master in a lot of cases. And, um, you know, they're all on pretty good sized lots. What I think is really great about this neighborhood too is just, um, it's been around for a while. So you have these huge mature trees, lots of shade, which is great when it's a hundred degrees like this time of year. Um, and uh, it's just really nice. To, and you get sidewalks too. So that's something that you'll kind of notice too, is kind of when you bump down, and do like the lower price bracket, you know, around that uh, 200,000 minus, um, a lot of those neighborhoods don't have sidewalks. And I, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but sometimes it's nice to have a sidewalk to walk down and not have to be in the street or walking through people's yards. Um, so you get the sidewalks, which is nice. You get the, um, a lot of these homes have the beautiful brick in the front. Um, they're just like really nice homes. I mean, some of these homes have like these awesome like pillars in the front and uh, they just have a really good look to them and a really great price point as well. So a lot of, a lot of these houses, you'll, you'll see it's a very established neighborhood. So some of the people, a lot of people in this neighborhood have been here since they were built in the sixties and seventies. But then you also get people that are moving in and younger folks and things like that and younger families as well but this is kind of the first price point i wanted to kind of show you uh, so you can kind of get a good idea and this is north haven there's a few different little subdivisions like north haven west and hills and but it's all kind of in this little area here um, within a few blocks of each other and they're all very similar style homes and similar style neighborhood so uh, nice roads the roads are always kept up i think that's what's nice about gladstone too is they keep up the roads uh, there's not a whole lot of potholes in gladstone something else that's kind of neat about gladstone too is like you don't have uh the one percent earnings tax when you live and and work in gladstone now if you live in gladstone you work in kansas city missouri you still got to pay that one percent tax which kind of is annoying but it, a lot of people here just kind of get used to it but um yeah so this is kind of what you get for your money here um, good lot, good sized lots, mature trees, sidewalks, close to amenities, North Oak, lots of shopping, 20 minutes from downtown, a beautiful home in that mid 200s. And, um, you know, and you'll see too, like, you know, a lot of these houses, um, people have been living there for a very long time. And so you'll notice that they might be maybe not as like updated as uh, the next price point you bump up to, but you can quickly gain equity and um, increase the value of your home just by doing some, a few minor updates. And honestly, it's just because um, people have been here forever and you know, like grandma and grandpa don't really need to update their house. And so that's kind of the, what we're kind of seeing. So that's what's nice about this neighborhood um, and what you can kind of get and expect. Uh, so you'll see, um, you know, when you're looking in the houses, you'll see kind of the Formica countertops, maybe the older cabinetry. Um, so yeah, I might need a few updates, but those are honestly my favorite kind of houses because um, they have really good bones. The people that have been living there are really meticulous. They've been taking good care of the property. They've been updating the HVAC systems and the roof and um, just really taking good care of the property. And it just might need a few cosmetic updates to really kind of make it your own and um and i think that's pretty awesome so but yeah i just wanted to kind of show you this neighborhood um some of the houses in here and kind of get a good feel for what you can see get free money here all right so now we are in a couple different subdivisions kind of close to each other uh brook tree which is this direction down this way and then carriage hills which is kind of where i'm standing right now so uh what's cool about this area so we're kind of right on the south east corner of gladstone it's tricky because from block to block the borders change and sometimes you're in kansas city missouri your neighbors in kansas city you're in gladstone so it gets kind of tricky on um trying to figure out exactly what city and municipal you are in but we're right now we're in the city of gladstone still and um, the price points are going to be a little bit knocked up a little bit higher here so 
honestly, this is kind of the cream of the crop when it comes to Gladstone at 400, 450,000. Uh, these are going to be like some of these houses are going to have that third bedroom or that, you know, third uh, car garage, fourth bedroom, uh, two, three bathrooms, uh, maybe four bathrooms, three and a half bathrooms. Um, so a little bit bigger homes. These are also a little bit newer. So these are built in the 1990s. So a lot of these um, houses are kind of from that age. So uh, I actually grew up uh, just down the street. I used to play in Brook Tree Pool all the time. And so Brook Tree, those price points are gonna be kind of what we just saw over in North Haven. Kind of that $300,000 price point is kind of what you're gonna see over in Brook Tree. But here in Carriage Hills, it bumps up a little bit to that 400 plus thousand uh, price range just because you're like I said a lot of these houses you'll see as we go past them you're getting that third car garage you're getting that fourth bedroom there is a small HOA um, association here of course um, you know a lot of these yards will have irrigation sprinkler systems uh, they've got kind of their own um, street signs and and street lights and it just has a really cool little quaint character to it but it kind of feels a lot like the 90s when you come through this neighborhood. Um, but some of these houses are going to be like completely updated. And then some are still going to be kind of from the 90s. Again, um, I used to come and play with a lot of friends in this neighborhood uh, growing up. And I was, at that time, these homes were like brand new. And um, it was like those friends that seemed like they had a little bit of money. Um, but uh, yeah, so... I wanted to kind of just kind of show you kind of the bump up from where we just were and kind of so you can kind of get a good idea but man the roads are quiet um just a really great neighborhood here in carriage hills as you can kind of see and the home prices are kind of in that still below national average which is kind of crazy and i think that's what attracts a lot of people to kansas city um you know a lot of things are changing right now with interest rates and all kinds of stuff like that so definitely want to get a hold of me if you're thinking about moving to kansas city and um i really know this area like the back of my hand because i've been here my whole life and uh especially in this area around gladstone as my house uh that i grew up in was literally just down the street um in another subdivision but um yeah if you have any questions at all my phone number's below you can call text email me anytime day or night I got your back when it comes to Kansas, moving to Kansas City. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell. That way, anytime I'm shooting uh, videos or doing this kind of stuff, you can get notified. <music>